Alright everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video with Fat Phil, and today we're going to be talking about health mods. Now, I said everyone because eventually this will be made available to the public, but for now, channel members, you guys get the access to this, give you guys time to digest this information, give you time to figure out and get ahead of your opponents. We're going to be talking about health mods today, and I know every single one of you is sitting there like, I don't need to know about health mods, Phil, like, I know how to use mods, like you're an idiot, you don't know what you're talking about. I have seen a lot of your mods and I can tell you that we need some help with health modding because health mods are one of the most important mods in this game. They're kind of your vanilla. Think of if you're at, if you're at a party and you're trying to order ice cream, the safest option is always vanilla. Like there's never a person, even if you don't hate, like nobody hates vanilla ice cream, you know, it might not be your favorite, but everybody likes vanilla ice cream. Like that's a pretty, unless you're lactose intolerant, everybody likes vanilla ice cream. Like, so you know, health mods are a really important part of this game. And understanding how to use them to your advantage is extremely important. So we're going to get into all of that. Now, because this video is for channel members, guys, I feel I don't need to get into the whole like, hey, here's the list. Because you guys know who you are, right? You are the kings of this channel. Well, I guess princes because there's only one king and that is our king, Wampa. So, but let's kind of go into the screen capture here and i created this little guide i'm gonna move my fat face up into the corner here so again this guide will be linked in the video description down below so i made just like the hey here's all the different shapes huge credit to the swigo wiki page here and again just kind of explaining a little bit of mods right the different shapes the different primary stats you can get we have a whole page here of the potential stats and where i want you guys to pay attention is that the best secondary stats our offense defense and speed and i know all of you are about to like blow me up and say you don't know what you're talking about we're not going based off of like oh you know well characters want health we're going based off the fact that a primary stat for defense can get to 20 percent and a secondary stat for defense can get to 20 percent so if you use defense as a secondary you can get theoretically just as much as you can from a primary now in reality that will never happen but you can get close same thing with offense percent look you can get eight and a half percent offense on your primary mod right on your primary and you can also get that on the secondary and then speed theoretically is only a one point difference to the primary now that is in a perfect world so you're never going to reach that perfect world but even if you're slightly below that speed even if you get to say 25 speed you're only missing seven speed from the primaries from a primary mod and you're gaining all of the secondary stats along with it you're getting another primary like it, you want to use speed to your advantage right so those are your best secondaries in terms of your order to six dot health percent should be your first priority mod to increase because you go from 5.8 percent to 16 it's the most important leap you will take in any kind of modding right it is a huge, huge, huge jump. You're talking almost triple your value. Accuracy is close, but health is just way better. Then offense and defense percent, because you are gaining significant margins there. And then I think you'd kind of move into the rest of these where, okay, just kind of move into the rest of these things as you get there. But I think you want to prioritize these stats first because you get the most benefit from them think you all of your secondary stats are going to increase but everything else kind of you know loses to health in terms of how much it's gaining and then protection is last because you literally go from 23.5 to 24 percent like it it's all gaining in the secondary and you're going to gain on secondaries in every other mod so protection should be the last thing that you slice the six dot but let's talk about you know and again i have another tab here about sets again credit to the wiki page just showing you guys the sets here but let's talk health mods so if you hadn't if you didn't know already your square your diamond and your circle right the right side mods here or left side sorry left 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 side mods your primary form of customization is going to be on the secondary stats when you look you can either get offense defense and then the circle at least gives you a health or protection option but you think on that side, it's far easier to fine tune your mods because 
you're not having to find that primary. Just think about this. Finding a really good square is very easy because it's always offense. You can't, no matter what character you're modding, it's an offense mod. Same thing with the diamond. No matter what character you're modding, it is a defense mod. So right away, it takes out any of those situations where, oh, I'm trying to mod Drogon and this would be perfect, but it's a defense primary or, oh, this one's act like it, it doesn't matter, right? They, they're, they're, they're stagnant. Then with health and protection, again, that's pretty easy. Okay, you pick one or the other and you move on with your life, right? But the the left, the right side, right? Right side, gosh, I can't freaking talk tonight. The arrow, the triangle, and the cross, there's a lot more things to choose from. And so we've got to be, it's a lot harder to find those fine-tuned mods because you need to worry about the primary as well as some of those secondaries. So we're going to break out the secondaries. Let's start with the squares. So for squares, your most important stat for everything is going to be your speed. Speed is king. All right. Duh. Like I don't, it, speed is the most important stat. No mod should ever get upgraded in your inventory without speed. This is why, and this is why just, I'm going to say this one time. Actually, I'll say it again. I'll probably say it every time, but you know, I'm going to say this every single time. If it doesn't roll speed, Go find somebody who doesn't want a lot of speed. If it rolls a lot of speed, slap it on somebody who does. And if it rolls in the middle, you know, find somebody in the middle. You can always find a use for mods like that. It, speed is that important. So next is health percent. This isn't because health percent reaches high. It's that you're using a health set. A health set. So you're, you're building your character's max health. Having health percent as a secondary just boost that value. You're already investing in their max health. So you want to make that max health better, right? We want to match the primary stat or the, like the mod set with either the primary or secondary stats where we can. And that's also why protection is here too. Because again, there are certain tanks who may want protection or they may want both health and protection percent. So we want to prioritize those two stats. Then we're going to look at defense here. Defense is a brilliant stat because of the potential of reaching as much as a primary. Defense can be very, very good. As you guys can see from the mods here, this one up top, I think this is on my L3. We've got health, protection, and defense. A very good mod right there. And then down here on resistance hero fin, we got speed, health, protection, and then we got flat health. And you'll notice that the flat health down here, just keep in mind, up until you get relics, Flat stats are better. Tommy, stop scratching my wall. I will. Can't say that on YouTube. But. You're going to end up like the Tuscans in Attack of the Clones. You keep that up. I apologize. Nothing infuriates me more than them scratching this wall. So let's go back here. Right. So flat stats. As I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted by my cat treating my wall like a scratching post, flat stats are better until relics. So just farm percent stats. Don't be stupid, okay? Like nothing, I can't stand with they're like, oh, flat stats are better until you get the relics. Like that is the, the dumbest thing in the world. Like, oh yeah, until I get the relics, you mean until you get to the point that you're gonna spend 90% of the game at with relics? Like, yeah, farm percent stats, just, it, like flat stats are not important. And I skipped these ones in here. So this is what I'm going to say. Your potency, tenacity, critical chance, they're all solid in their own right, but it's better to use sets if you're trying for them. What I mean by this is that if you're, if you buy a mod and you're like, oh man, this mod has tenacity and potency and it's a health mod, like it, it, let's go for a, a potency set let's go for a tenacity set let's go for a crit chance set um they can be very good don't get me wrong there are times where we may want those stats on health mods but when you're trying to think of health mods the biggest mistake you're going to make is you're going to you want to pay attention to the stats that like matter to characters who want health and then you can figure out where to put the rest of them so that's why I prioritized these stats on the square. Let's move to the diamond. Whew. <laughs> diamond, speed, duh. Not, like speed is everything. 
Next, health and protection yet again. This is because, you know, protection taking over for offense percent here, even though offense percent can reach higher, you're often modding a character for max health, which means they often want to be tanky, so adding protection just allows that to happen even more. The other thing here is that protection percent can't be a, like, is, you know, because because tanks want it we want to put it here then offense percent comes in because of the potential and then you've got again the same stuff here showing you these two diamonds we've obviously got flat protection here so but we've got a lot of speed we rolled a crap ton of offense and then health this is on my supreme leader kylo ren in case you guys didn't recognize that mod i show it a lot because i'm very proud of it but this is a great example of, hey, maybe if this mod rolled a bunch of health and less offense, I would put it on a character who would benefit more from max health. Or maybe it rolls in between them, so I throw it on Commander Tano or something. You know, you find those characters who can benefit from this mod. When you're buying a mod, like, let's look at this one for Savage. This is a great one. I, I picked this one very specifically for this reason. So this has speed, health, protection, and offense. So if it rolls a lot of offense, I place this on an attacker. If it rolls a lot of protection, it's going on a tank. If it rolls a lot of health, it's going on a tank. If it rolls a lot of speed, it's going on, you know, a, a character who wants speed. And it kind of rolled a little bit of everything. A, a good bit of speed, some health, some protection, no offense. Kind of made sense to throw it on Savage, who's a character who could benefit from all those things. And maybe this mod gets faster, I can put it on somebody else. Or it slices up some of these other stats and I can, you know, move it around. The concept when buying mods, especially with health mods, ask yourself if it doesn't roll X stat, you know, because you, you think of A, B, C, and D. If it rolls stat B, who can I use? Stat C. You're like, don't just ask yourself if it rolls speed. If it rolls those other stats on the mod, who are you going to put it on and if you can't think of someone, I would often suggest not buying that mod because the chances of it getting to a speed where it's going to be meaningful to you is a lot smaller, right? So now let's get to circles. So this is the first time where now you have to worry about the primary. Again, that's going to depend on the character, right? It varies by character between health and protection. I mean, it's pretty easy to figure out. So speed is first but then on the secondary right after speed notice health and protection kind of share that line and say depends what your primary stat is again you're anticipating that the character you're modding is going to want health or protection so they want survivability so we want to mod them that way then we went ahead and put on offense and defense percent here again that's a very important part um with those two stats again it's because of the potential so you'll see here on this mod again i think this is another one that's on supreme leader kylo ren rolled a heck of a lot of offense you know didn't roll as much of the you know protection percent so attacker here we come now look at this mod for dash rendar it rolled a bit of offense it rolled a bit of defense rolled a bit of health and then it rolled you know five speed rolls so obviously wants to be on a character who's fast but also somebody who could benefit from all those kind of stats and dash is the kind of character that makes sense. So you can see that when you're purchasing these mods, when I'm buying these mods, you're trying to think of what is going to be the best case scenario for that mod. And if it's the worst case, what happens? Like if this rolled a ton of defense, who can actually use that mod? If you don't have an answer to that question, you need to find one. All right. So now we're getting into the big part here your arrows, your triangle, your cross, where you've got to start worrying about the primary stats. Speed is always going to be like the number one answer for mods most of the time. Like you're going to want speed on them. It's the safest thing to do. Now, because you're using a health set, you could also make that argument for health and protection. I think that makes a lot of sense as well if you're trying to make characters fast. Think about it. Like if you're going to run a speed set, you may you want a speed arrow. Like, I feel like, you know, speed arrows are very good. They can really help characters get faster. But as you guys saw, if you can get really good speed on a secondary mod, sometimes it can take precedent over other stats. So that's kind of why I have this A and B here for health and protection. And then even like some support characters, 
with the right speed secondary you could mod this way and i kind of have malik here as that example of like i know he's technically a tank but you treat him like a support where we need him for many other things then you've got offense percent here next this is just one of those where it can help attackers if you're struggling with those offense stats getting it through a health mod can be good accuracy and crit avoidance you can do better but having a few of these for emergency situations is important um you know and remember that this is the only place you can earn those stats they're not secondaries they're only primaries defense percent is last and that's because if you're trying to go for a lot of defense use the set right just go for the set or go for the secondary you know so let's go to the secondaries now you're gonna see this starting to change number one is the speed of course but number two health offense and defense percent matching the stats and potential bonuses the reason why protection falls below now is because you're at the point where if that character wants a lot of protection if that's what you want just put the primary on them don't mess around with the secondary just put it on the primary you know like so that's kind of why protection falls down a hair and you could say that health percent does the same but because you've got all these other mechanics going on health still needs to be that number one because it's the set so health staying up there but health, you know offense and defense percent really becoming priority here and as you can see like these mods are not perfect they just rolled you know really good stats but they're not perfect right we could always use more you know work on them they could always get better stats but the concept is i picked mods that i if they rolled other things there was potential that i could find a character to put them on this one we got really lucky that it rolled that much offense thank you for ray so again and then flat stats i mean just okay at least pippin is pippin scratching what he's supposed to be so they get to the triangles so your number one is going to be health but you're running a health set health should be your number one priority when going for triangles now that doesn't mean that you ignore every other one it's just when you see one with health you normally want to jump on it because you want to get health again it's the way i rate primaries as i try to match with the second with the with the set critical damage is next it's the only place you can get this stat there's no other place that you can get critical damage it's only here so it's a very good triangle mod to pick up as you can see i've got one on my star killer here next would be protection percent again that makes sense you're trying to mod a tank with health and protection percent um it's a very good stat you know especially for tanks offense percent is the fourth best stat in my opinion here this could be controversial for you but the reason being again i've got 42 percent critical damage and i've got almost seven percent offense i'm missing out on one and a half percent offense as to what a primary stat would be and i'm gaining critical damage on top of it like i feel like that's a good trade-off so that's why i've dropped the offense percent it's better as a secondary when possible because i recognize that for a lot of you you may not get there right away I recognize i'm talking my hands a lot too to apologize i'm kind of going all over the place but offense percent better as a secondary if you can and then critical chance in defense like just use the sets so what about the secondary stats again right similar situation we're gonna go for speed we're gonna go for health offense defense look at this one for star killer speed health offense defense now again it's a critical damage mod so you're you know you're starting to squeeze down into what actually you want there but i took a chance on it i knew that it would be one that i could use for him or a galactic legend so i felt good with that look at this one up here with the with the health we've got tenacity offense and defense there was a lot of ways this could go went very heavily into the defense and tenacity this is actually a mod that's on my galactic legend leo organa very pleased with how this one turned out so again you guys can see again if you're trying to get critical chance and potency and stuff like that, just you're better using the sets it doesn't mean that they're not valuable at times but i don't want you trying to stress out over them and then finally we get to the cross right you get to your cross mods so for primaries health and protection are the two most important in my opinion 
because you're using a health set. And then offense, again, this can help offset your need for offense mods. You're often going to run like an offense set and like another set like health. So you could use an offense percent mod down here. Um, can really help the need for offense primaries elsewhere. It could allow you to run speed somewhere. It's a very good strategy. Now, defense, potency, and tenacity, you're better off just using the sets. It doesn't, uh, to me, why would you run extra potency down here on a health set when we could just run a potency set? You know, that's that's always the way I feel like. If you're trying to go for a stat, try to match it. All right, that matching principle is important. For your secondary stats, duh. You know, health percent, all, you know, speed, you know, health percent, offense, defense being the most important protection percent kind of creeping its way back in and then the other one so you guys can see that the secondary stats kind of translate pretty well throughout the mods just really depends on what the primary mod is and what your use is so you guys can see here with these two mods this one had flat defense but it had health it had offense and speed so i could put this on a tank depending on the stats that it rolled and things like that right that you can figure out who this goes on Similar situation with this one down here that's actually on Sith Empire Trooper. Flat protection, okay, not that great. But defense percent, protection percent, and then speed. This is a very good mod. It's allowing him to be tankier. It's giving him what he wants. I really wish it had more defense and less protection percent, but beggars can't be choosers. So that, guys, is my guide to health mods. Again, if you're still confused, I, I will link this down below so you guys can see it. But the big thing is, you want to think about when you're purchasing mods, when you're trying to figure out, is this mod worth it or not? If it doesn't roll X, Y, Z stats, is it still useful to you? That's the problem that I think players get into is you see mods like this. Like my mod score is good. I would not say it's like, I wouldn't really brag about it too, too much, but you know what I will brag about? My secondary stats. I feel my secondary stats take my characters to a level that otherwise they would not be able to exist at so that's the end of the video guys let me know your thoughts hopefully this helps you understanding health mods again i've seen your rosters i know you need help with them so hopefully this helps you understand secondary stats primary stats and gives you a path forward i will be trying to continue this with uh tenacity and all the other kind of mod types i just don't know when we'll get to them you know it takes me a little bit of time to put these together find the right screenshots and go through so please be patient with me hopefully you enjoyed i love all you may the force be with you and i'll see you in the next one and i'm gonna move my fat face back down here before i forget so there we go i love you all see you in the next one cheers